Yeah, it definitely helps to have some sort of fun way to deal with the heat, some sort of source of water. That's definitely the move for tomorrow as well. But otherwise, we're just inside for quite a bit. It's going to be dangerous weather yet again on Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday brings us a better chance of rain. Today, some places got some downpours. And like today, tomorrow is going to be very spotty with any of those showers and thunderstorms. And there are two lonely showers across the state as of right now. There is one in East Cornwall. Goshen picking up just a little bit of rain right now. Torrington right in the fringe of that. So we'll see how long that shower decides to stick around. But otherwise, just this one shower in Kensington. Shouldn't be more than a couple hours before those extinguish and we have nothing left for the remainder of the evening. As we get into Monday and Tuesday, we will expect there to be dangerous heat. Heat advisory through Tuesday, heat index up to 100 degrees on both of those afternoons. We're at 90 degrees before noon on Monday and Tuesday. Extreme humidity on Tuesday. That'll kind of balance it out when we see temperatures a little bit on the lower side for Tuesday. So the bottom line is that it will feel like it's nearly 100 degrees for both of those afternoons. Once we get to midnight, no more showers. Tomorrow morning, we are looking at mainly sunny skies. It's deja vu yet again. We are stuck in this steamy, soupy, humid air and in the afternoon there won't be much to show for it. We're going to stick with mainly dry conditions, spot showers really in the hills. That's about it. Into Tuesday, it's going to be the same deal. It's going to be another one of these days where it's so humid outside, but then finally we will get a front to come and save the day. This is going to come around four o'clock up in the northwest hills. Because of that, there should be some strong thunderstorms, especially initially. Once we get to six, eight o'clock, there will be showers along the shoreline and they will exit once we get to around midnight. So we should be able to get everyone at least a quick shower on Tuesday. At or above 80 degrees, we're at 41 days so far. The record 44, that will likely break. And we'll get kind of close to the 70s, but no matter what, still in the 80s for that record to be broken within the next four days. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s across the state. A warm evening for us. Once we get past the cold front on Tuesday, we have cooler temperatures on Wednesday. We're still looking at some rain chances. In fact, this should be the best day of the week to pick up some rain, some meaningful totals, quarter inch, half inch possible between Wednesday and Thursday. But as of right now, I think that Wednesday stands to be our rainy day of the week. It could be quite cloudy, very little sun out there, periods of rain, a thunderstorm here and there. For Monday, he index up to 100 degrees at 2 p.m. And this model actually has things flaring up even higher for Tuesday ahead of that cold front. So it's not out of the question that if the winds are strong enough out of the south on Tuesday, we could be looking at temperatures at or above 95 degrees. We love to see this precipitation uh, a little bit on the average side. So we should be able to get some rain six to 10 days out from now. Also love this temperature. Probability is neutral and we're pretty close to the below average chances as well. So we are looking at some comfy weather not too long from now. New Haven 83 degrees right now. Low temperatures are in the mid to lower 70s overnight. Our high temperatures are nearly 100 in the Connecticut River Valley. Super hot out there. So take it easy on yourselves. Listen to your body. Avoid heat illness by taking regular breaks, seeking the air conditioner shade and of course lots and lots of water. Even if you're not thirsty, drink lots of water for the next two days. Wednesday we got the rain. Same deal for the first half of Thursday spot showers possible on Friday and look at that weekend 60 degrees to start off things on Saturday. That's actually below average this upcoming weekend, which we have not been able to say in quite a long time. Definitely looking forward to this nice change of pace.